guys and welcome back to thick chick thrifts honey where you came for some fashion but honey you about to get this love honey hey hello darling how are you if you are new here i am your host nitra aka sugar mama though i hope i hope i'm probably the only sugar mama you have ever met if not tell her i said hey how you doing honey i'm so glad that you are here welcome 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 to the family honey today is sunday the lord's day and this is the days when i drop my try on hauls diys whatever it is i'm doing we're gonna drop it on sundays god willing so i hope that you enjoy you are more than welcome to chat it amongst yourselves in the comments meet a new friend be kind in the comments we love you here to the wonderful family members who are already on the guest list honey mm, mm, uh, uh, mm. should i cabbage patch for you uh should i should i slow it down oh my gosh it's a good sunday listen i hope you are enjoying your sunday wherever you are because I am. I woke up like this. I'm so excited that it is another day to be above ground, praising the name of Jesus. Honey, we're going to praise the Lord, but we're going to have a good time doing it. We're going to show a little fashion. And this week I was supposed to, not supposed to, but I was planning on doing my patio reveal. But y'all know life happens. My baby graduating from high school this year. We got family coming in. It is a lot happening in my house. So not only am I getting my patio together, we're getting the house together. We're getting it all together because we have family coming in. We're going to have a good time and it's going to be a whole party season next month. So I got the book club going. I'm, we just got a lot going on. So I'm going to push that to next week. So we're going to do a really quick haul today and i mean a quick one it's really cute really simple but i found some pieces while thrifting that i really want to share with you guys so we're going to do that this week and then next week honey we are oh we are going zen it's so comfortable looking back there y'all it's so peaceful look for me i it's not all finished but i see the vision coming together you know how like i literally did i show y'all let me get the paper uh oh, I should have had this ready, but I literally drew this thing up into fruition and placed it. I like to see things out when I do things. So I don't, um, you know how when you think of something, you say, I should have wrote that down. I'm that person. I will text it to myself. Yes, I will text message myself. If I forget, need to remember something, I would message myself because you can do that. Tip, tip. For those girls uh, like myself, text yourself, honey, because ain't nobody got time to try to remember everything you need to remember. So I just, it's like a list. I would text it to myself. So I literally drew that out and I've been going step by step, getting it the way that I wanted or I saw it in my head then. And it is all coming together. I cannot wait till you guys see it. We're going to have some fun and I'm going to just dedicate my whole video next weekend to it to show you. Um, where all the pieces came from and majority of them were all thrifted y'all know i went to home goods for some pieces tj maxx but we'll talk about all of that then but let's go ahead and jump into this really cute haul we'll do a quick outfit check you guys have seen me uh, show this one in a previous video so we'll do a quick check talk about the hair for a second and then we're gonna jump into this quick video so i can edit and get back to work so i love y'all and i'm so grateful and glad that you are here praying that you are having a wonderful, glorious day, whatever time it is you watching this, honey, because sometimes people got stuff to do. So y'all catch me at a later time, but make sure you catch me. Check on your girl, because I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in a minute. Come on, let's go. All right, so like I said, we're going to jump into this haul really quick. I hope I don't go too fast through this one, but we just want to make this one really cute and simple today. Um, 
outfit of the day is I showed you guys this um, crop one sided and I, I DIY'd it myself and all I did was lay it flat and decided which side I wanted higher or lower. I was not sure how big I wanted the high low to be. So I just cut it at an angle and it is what it is. So I hope that you see here that it is just a simple um, men's. It is a men's top that I thrifted. If you want to go back and watch, I think it's either the previous video or the one before it. And I, my vlog, you can see when I actually cut it, I did a DIY tutorial when I cut it, but I actually showed it and styled it about a week or so ago, but hadn't had a chance to wear it. So I wore it for day night and I loved it. It was raining. It was cold yesterday. And I had on that brown plaid jacket with it, with these awesome, outstanding, uh, super wedges that I absolutely love that match to a T and they're from a brand called rock candy. Now I got these off of Poshmark for like $6. Um, I love them. They're very comfortable and I'm looking for more colors, but love these, um, super high waisted. Um, I want, they're not necessarily baggy, but they're a perfect fit for a shorter petite i'll say girl because they're super long but when you wear wedges that high it takes a little bit gives you a little more length so when it was raining yesterday the only thing that got wet was the actual hem of the pant leg versus usually if i take these shoes off the ones i have on now it would have been like at least two or three inches of water on on my legs so thank god for that but love these super wide leg just amazing pockets Fantastic. And I just threw on a thin belt, but hopefully you can see it all here. Something very simple. Just wanted to throw something on so I can show you guys this quick haul. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for giving me grace and giving me another week to get my patio together. But I hope you enjoyed this quick little cute haul. Now let's go ahead and jump into this hair. Same hair. I knew I told y'all I wanted to change my hair and it's itching like everything in me. It's like, girl, you didn't change no hair. And it's bothering me. But y'all know what? I'm going to push through it. One more week ain't going to hurt me. It's still cute and it's honey. The, the only thing that's saving it, it is getting so big. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so fluffy and every day it's just this pretty. And these are synthetic clip-ins for you, uh, those of you who are new. I'm going this week to the hair store to see what other styles of clip-ins that they have because honey we trying another one this gonna be a summertime thing we i may just do a series on clip-in hair because i did not this is my first time ever doing clip-ins so i didn't realize how easy and just when i pop 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 goes my hair honey what gerald say pop 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 goes my hair my hair y'all come on get into these clip-ins so i may do a just a, a on my i don't know whether i want to do it on the vlog but y'all let me know where y'all want to see it at but i want to start featuring clip-ins y'all especially synthetic i did not know and for those of you who did you ought to be ashamed of yourself for not sharing the information with the rest of us honey because i am on board i got punch, where my ticket at i got it punched so let's go ahead and get into this haul very simple very quick, but cute. Let's go. All right, my first piece, I just want to show you guys. I'm not sure if I got a chance to show you guys these. I found these for 99 cent at my local DAV. Now, a lot of these pieces you're going to see today are from either just random places that I'm out with the girls and I'm out just shopping and I find me a deal. Cause when I find a deal, it's going down. Yes, it is. So I found these while out thrifting. If you saw my one of my vlogs, my last two vlogs, I know you saw me find these. And they were just in a bucket. And when I go to the DAV, they have a bucket. And it's just filled with glasses and just all types of glasses. Two different buckets. And everything in it is 99 cents. I have found Tom Ford glasses. I found a pair of... What is her name? Birch, Tory Birch glasses. Um, recently I found, is it Tory Birch? Somebody else for 99 cents. So they, they don't care the brand. They just throw them in there and they just trying to get rid of them. So I ended up finding these and I've been seeing these online and they kind of give off goggle, but a futuristic 
Baby, I just think these are so cute. Look at those. I hope you guys can see these. I hope I'm standing in the frame where you can see them. I haven't cleaned them up quite yet, but I just thought they were so cute because they kind of give off honey. Can you imagine these with a nice bang hairdo with the bang hitting right here? Oh my gosh, I can see that. But this is given to. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in the Jetsons. Sugar Jetson. Mm -hmm, that's me. Yeah, just go ahead and call me Sugar Jetson. Mm -hmm. But I love these and they were only, like I said, 99 cents. So you really can't beat that because I went online and when I was looking for a pair of these, the cheapest I, I think I found them was like $14.99, which is not bad. But $14.99 versus 99 cent, we're going to do that all day. So this is the only accessory I'm showing you guys today, but I really hope you guys like these. Honey, I'm going to be using these and well, have been using them on the patio when I'm doing, when I'm doing my work, that's what I need to use them for. So I love these thought they were cute, but just wanted to show you guys really, really quick what they look like, but we're going to go ahead and jump into the first couple of pieces from Burlington. Surprise, surprise. All right, listen, let me scratch that. That is not Burlington. It is Ross. We have a Burlington and a Ross next door to each other. And the hubby wanted to go in Burlington, but I don't know about y'all, but I very rarely get lucky in Burlington with clothing. Now, home accessories, every now and then I can find um, some really cute faux plants or rugs um, for a decent price or clearance. But for some reason lately in the last like year or so, Burlington's ain't been hitting on nothing for me. So um, we went in there and I didn't see anything I liked, but he went back again. And since Ross was next door, I went into Ross to look for home um, essentials for my patio and ended up finding these two pieces here. And these are the pieces that I found. Now these, I'm gonna show you one at a time and we'll start with the t-shirt. Now this t-shirt is just really, really cute. At least I thought it was so cute. It is just a simple California, I, I don't know if y'all know it, but I used to live in California for many years and my brother still lives in Long Beach. Hey, Shane and Tracy, shout out to everybody out there in Cali. I miss it. I'm coming back to visit soon. I'm planning on it this year or I want to come when it's, hell, it's warm all year round. So I guess it really, but I want to come back to visit, but I've always been my heartstrings have always been tugging back to Cali because when I was in the military, I was in San Diego. So I really enjoy California, but it just says something good and every day. I love that. It says create your own sunshine. Baby, you better come on with the mantra. Create your own. So if that ain't me all day. And then the other, it, it's a little circle and it just has little right in here. It just says ready for the summer. But it just says, it, it, create your own summer. Come on, somebody. But it just says California Dreaming. And it's a cute little bear. Can I get a little closer? But I thought he was so stinking cute. And it, it's trimmed in this cream and brown. So um, I thought that would be perfect. You know, I'm still looking for pieces to go with those Gucci shoes. If you don't know, you about to know. But the Gucci shoes, baby, is right behind me. Oh, back there waiting for me to wear them again. I listen, if there's any chance of, of me wearing them, I'm gonna wear them. I am. So I love those so much. So everywhere I go, I don't have a lot of browns. So now I'm starting to pick up browns whenever I see them. And this one was, like I said, from Ross. And it was only five dollars and ninety-nine cents. And you really can't beat that for five dollars and ninety-nine cents. Nothing too fancy. Sometime in the summer, all you want is just a simple tee and a decent pair of, of pants, uh, wh whatever type of pants are your favorite, and you go about your business. Now, this pair of pants I'm going to show you, the reason why I love them so is because they're very lightweight, so you can get away with these in the summer. And they are, I got them to go with that little teddy bear, and I could definitely wear them with those shoes that I just showed you guys. A second ago but these are from a brand called indigo rising here is the brand here indigo rising and it's just a simple pair of brown slacks 
but they are wide leg. You guys, I mean, if, I'm pretty sure you've paid attention to you. Once you learn your body type and what fits your body type, you kind of gravitate to it more. So I find myself always gravitating towards um, wide leg pants because they flatter me. So because I am petite, I'm only five, three. I try to say this in every video to give you a reference, but I'm only five, three. So when I wear pants like this, when I wear the skinny version, it tends to make my hips stand out more because I have wider hips ratio to my waist. And so I have to be careful or cognizant of the materials and the things that I wear. So when I wear wide leg jeans or pants, whatever the case is, um, they tend to feminine make make me not look like I'm trying so hard to show you everything I got. So that is like my goal to try to make it a little more, you know, I want you to think about what's under there. I don't need you knowing all my business. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no phone book. I don't need you. Flipping th you don't need to know all my business. So I'm not trying to tell you all my business with my clothing. Now, sometime, honey, I'm going to give it to you. Sometimes there are times when a sister girl it calls for that, but every day it don't call for that. So just with a simple t-shirt, I like to put pants like this and it has this hem here and it gives you this very feminine touch to these pants. And I just thought they were so cute. Now the pockets are full, so you don't have to worry about all that extra material, but the pockets in the front are functioning. Um, and like I said, now this, let me tell you how surprised I was. They have to be oversized. I don't know what brand this is, but I do not wear a size seven in pants. But in these, this has to be like a, has to be a 12 because I am a 12, a 10, 12 in mostly everything that I wear. It just depends on the material. But like I said, with these, if you even look at them, you can tell these are oversized and you can get away with it sizing down. If I would have gotten my size, they probably would have been way too big. But this is actually a size seven and I am not. But I thank her for it, honey, because it sure felt good to see that. But I got these and I'll show you the price in a second. Here is the, the brand, the branding. But these I got because they were on clearance for $6.00 and 49 cent and y'all know I am a clearance queen and that is the only reason I got these well not the only they match the 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 t-shirt and the Gucci shoes perfect or the other brown shoes that I have um but I love these and can throw them into the arsenal and wear them with just about anything but I hope you guys like the way I just styled it up I'm gonna throw it on with that t-shirt and I'm either gonna throw them on with the Gucci shoes or um, with those cute, these cute platform shoes here. Cause I think these, <clears throat> excuse me, I think these would go perfect with them also. So I'm not sure, but I'm, you guys are probably seeing it now when I style things up, you guys actually see it. When I see it, I try not to style things up first. Cause I want that initial reaction when I style things. Um, but I love these. And hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know. But you need to check out your local Ross if you haven't been there in a minute. They got a lot of stuff on clearance. Um, I don't know if maybe they're trying to get rid of the summer thing. <clears throat> Excuse me, the summer things. But that's what they got going on there. But that was the only thing I purchased. I'm trying to um, stay on a budget because I've been spending so much on the patio. Not so much, but I'm trying to be smart. And if I'm buying things to show out there. I don't want to just be buying clothes because I got a million items of clothing. So I love you. Hope you enjoyed. Now let's go ahead and jump into our next couple of pieces. All right. My next piece I want to feature is these gorgeous pair. It's just a gorgeous pair of shorts that I found. Um, it's almost summer. So, you know, it's time for the pops of color. Now, some people love black year round. I am a colorful girl year round. I'm just starting to get into the browns and the blacks. That usually ain't my jam or my speed, but I'm trying to incorporate different things into my wardrobe, but colors are my jam. And I found these beautiful pair. I found this beautiful pair of shorts. Look at the color in this, you guys. 
I hope I'm not getting too close, but I really want you to see the pattern. And it gives off tropical. Like this is how my patio, this was my patio before. If you can remember these colors, this is kind of the color scheme I went for on my patio. Just bright, vibrant, happy, beautiful colors. And don't get me wrong, just because it's bright does not make it happy. It's just cheery for me. I, when I see colors like this, I just think of bright, airy, cheery, just very, very um, like cool colors. But this is from a brand called Gibson Look. I've never heard of this brand. If you have, let me know in the comment section. It says GL, but it's black. So you really can't see, but it says Gibson look. Um, but I love these. They have a zipper on the side and they have functioning pockets. But it kind of gives off that African print without being African, if you know what I'm saying, but more tropical. I did get these from the thrift store. They were brand new. Here is the tag for them. Now, they it doesn't say how much they were originally. Um, and, but they're in a size medium. Like I said, the pocket on the backs are, are not, they're fold. They're not functioning, but the ones in the front are. And I love that because like I said, when you wear, um, pants like that, when you have a larger derriere in the back, it kind of poofs out. And sometimes the material moves and crunches and bunches up and it just ain't cute. But I love when they put the faux pockets in the back. As long as I got pockets that function in the front, it's perfect. But these are so well made with the zipper on the side. That's usually um, for a well-made pair of pants or, or higher in pair of shorts. And these, let me show you the tag I got from my local DAV. Now these were $6.98. But when you go on Wednesdays, you get... 20% off. So I think I paid like $5 for these, but to find a brand new pair of shorts with such good quality, I really like these. Let me know. And this band here is going to make your stomach or your tummy a little bit flatter when you wear certain types of shirts, they won't bunch up. So I really love this. Now I'm just going to style these with a simple white tee. Um, I just grabbed a simple white tee. I'm going to keep it simple, but I'm going to throw it on with this cropped or this denim jacket now it's going to be semi crop for me if you're a taller girl this would definitely be cropped for you i thrifted this years ago and it's from the brand uh i think it's a, the gap this is uh from the gap um but it's just a simple light denim i thought the light denim would go so well with that i'm just gonna throw these shorts on with that and then i'm gonna throw on these gorgeous platforms i showed you guys these a while ago and i haven't been able to wear them yet so i figured if i wore this denim look and pull it together even though the denims are not perfectly matched it still gives off denim and we can co coordinate and and hook that together but i love these and they're really comfortable because the wedge is so high or the platform is so high that it makes the wedge comfortable. So I'm just going to throw this on. I hope you guys like the way I styled these together because sometimes, like I said, I'm to this weekend or this haul here. I just wanted to show really comfortable, cute, chic looks going into the summer where some of you guys are. It is already extremely hot. I wish it was here. It, it was 50 degrees yesterday in the 50s and raining. So I had on a jacket, long sleeve, um, I mean, pant, wide leg jeans and two shirts. So it was just like, where's the summer? So send me some summertime. I love you and I appreciate it. And for those of you who are in Texas, I love you. I'm praying for you. Please be safe out there. Um, a lot has been happening there because it has been so hot there. So please be safe out there and know somebody loves you and somebody is praying for you. So let's go ahead and jump into our next couple of pieces. Okay, my next piece is really cute and different and I'm hoping it works out the way I plan. Because if not, honey, we just going to throw on another pair of shorts or something with it. But I found this really cute skirt. And it's just another one of those mini skirts, but I thought it was cute because it is a patchwork quilt. 
And can you see the different colors that it has in here? I just thought this was so cute and it's distressed in the back slightly, not overly distressed. It's from the brand Almost Famous. If you can see that, it's from the brand Almost Famous. And it is or was from the DAV and it was only $3.98. So I got this because I thought it would be cute and it is kind of frayed or distressed at the bottom as like a mini skirt and I can throw it on with a jean jacket in the summer and a nice cute top, fitted top with some sandals um, or some sneakers. But I thought this would be so cute uh, as a mini underneath the top that I'm gonna show you next. But I just, I really like, I thought it was so different and I hope you guys like it. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but it's something I did not have in my wardrobe, a patchwork quilt or quilted styled skirt. So I really don't own a lot of skirts, but when I saw this one, I just thought it, I took to it. I thought it was so different and I just thought it would go so amazing under this top here. Now this top, I had this top, if you if you go watch my next vlog Thursday, you will see I went into the DAV and when I saw this, I, I threw this in my basket so fast. I showed it on the camera and then I kept picturing, okay, what can now I really want to wear this with a pair of distressed shorts, but today I want to try it under that um on top of that patchwork quilt skirt just for um it's the same concept that I have in my head with the distressed look, but I can't wait till it's warm enough to wear it with a pair of distressed shorts, like that whole frayed, really cut up, tore up in the front style shorts. I have a pair. I just need to distress them a little bit more, but I thought this was gorgeous. It is an African print. And I think this is like a high low style because the, I'll step back a little, the top or uh, the front of the top is really it's not necessarily crop, but it's baby doll. So it should hit me maybe about around my thighs, right above my thighs. So when I do wear that look, I'll be able to, all you will see is the bottom of the distress. If you can picture that there is, um, this asymmetrical or baby doll style top here. Now this was long sleeve, but you guys know, Oh, it's, it's, I know it's still chilly here, but I want to wear this in the summer. Um, like I said, in my head, the way I want to wear it. And even in the winter, I can still wear it. But I wanted it or I saw it as a short sleeve. And I think the person, whoever had this top, that's probably what bothered them the most were the sleeves. So people don't realize at this price, because I'll show you here, I only paid $6.98 for this top. And for six dollars and ninety eight cent, um, as a matter of fact, did I go on Wednesday? I'm trying to picture it in the video. If I did, then I got twenty percent off. If not, I paid six ninety eight. But for seven dollars, like if you want to alter something and it don't work out, you only spend seven dollars. I know that's seven dollars, but honey, it's better than spending whoever, whatever somebody paid for the actual top. And the back of it, I'll step back. It's this really beautiful draped long and it looks like a dress and I'm a big fan and it's very well made because there is a zipper to zip in and out of so you don't have to worry about messing up your hair even though my hair is big. Can you picture me trying to put all that hair through this little bitty collar? No ma'am. So I'm glad that they put that um, zipper on the back of here. Now if you wanted to you could possibly wear this backwards. I would do it. I mean, it's just another look that you could pull off and all it would be is the, the, the high part would be in the back and then the, all of the material would be in the front. And if you put a belt on, as you can see, it would just gather all of that up and just be a lot of drama. So it's just up to you and your imagination on how you style things. But I thought this would be gorgeous with a lot of jewelry here and some big, huge earrings. So I, uh, like I said, I cut the sleeves at this angle because I wanted more of a flutter or a flared feminine style. I didn't want to just cut it and make it look like a regular square sleeve. So I just cut it at an angle and gave it that. And because of the material, even when I wash it, hopefully it'll start fraying. I didn't want to just cut it and start fraying it myself. 
once the material starts fraying on the ends, it's going to look even better. So I hope you guys like this. Now I'm torn in between whether this is my favorite or the piece that I'm about to show you next, but let me know in the comment section what piece was your favorite. Now, this is the cutest little haul that I'm doing. We're almost done. Girl, yes, we're almost done with this one. So, I love this, and I can picture this with this, this gold belt that I have on draped across here. There are so many different ways you can wear this. In the winter, you could definitely get away with this with these large pants here. You can wear some very, um, some, some leggings. You can so many ways to wear this so we're going to try it with the skirt today but just know you're going to see this again in one of the date nights this summer with those distress shorts and either some thigh high boots yes that's what i said or some really cool strappy sandals because that would be sexy and warm so i may do that versus the thigh high boots but honey we you just never know keep up with it and you will. So I hope you guys like this one. Let me know in the comments, girl, if you feeling this the way I'm feeling it. And I think some pins or brooches right here would be fabulous. So let me know, like I said, which one is your favorite so far out of the haul. But my next piece, y'all, I think it takes the cake. So I ain't gonna talk about it no more. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you. Okay, so my last piece, I literally saved for last because it is so cute. Like, I am so excited about this piece. I always try to save, in my head, my favorite for last. But y'all, this is fabulous. Girl, I don't know who you are that donated this to Goodwill. But I need you to know that I love you so I do. I do. Honey, when I was in the store, I was just a singing and shopping, just digging. And I'm the girl, y'all, who goes through piece by piece. Honey, I am slinging piece by piece because ain't nothing getting past me. I just happened to be on one of the aisles where the dresses are and saw this print, first of all. So let's get into this print. Look at the print on this, y'all. You can't tell me this don't tell you summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. Come on, somebody. It's summertime. I know. Look how gorgeous this is. I just thought this was just the print. And I said to myself, I don't wear a lot of dresses. But when I saw the print, I said, I don't know what this dress is, but I love this print. So we, I pulled it off the rack and girl, when I tell you, I found out that this was a pair of Pants. I'm going to step back so you can get the whole gloriousness stuff at all. Oh, it is a wide leg pair of, it's a jumper. It's a jumpsuit. So it is a super wide leg jumpsuit. And the dopest part about this is the back is, it has that draped back, you know, that you can't really see it here with me showing you holding it. So I'm pretty sure I will try to go ahead and put it here now with me styling it up. Now, I got this because of not only the print and the wide leg, I have semi like broader shoulders. So I love my shoulders. I don't care nothing about no broad shoulders. That's one of my favorite features on me are my shoulders. So it has this neckline where you get to show off your shoulders. Oh, look at, look at the... Y'all, look at how pretty. This is the side of the actual jumpsuit. And this is the neckline. And you tie it behind your neck here. Can you see that? You're just tying it behind your neck. And then this kind of just drapes up under your arm here. And then the back goes down. Can you see that drape where the back goes all the way down? Now, this is for, um, I, they make a, it's called a boob tape. And all you do is tape your girls if you don't, oh, if you can, I'm, you know, I shout out to my girls who that ain't, they ain't comfortable with that. You can still wear a bra with this. I would just wear a black one. And then if you're not that comfortable, you can always throw on a, and I probably will show you both ways with the jacket. I would definitely throw a jean jacket on depending on where I'm going. Now, if I'm going on date night with the honey, you going to get all the whole roll call. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. Whatever the roll call comes in, honey, that's what you're going to get. 
But if I'm going out and I know I'm going to be around younger people, the kids, babies, whatever, I will bring a jean jacket for modesty. But honey, if it is a good night, I'm, roll call, one, two, we all there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I know it, no matter how small you are, you need that muffin that they don't call me sugar for nothing, honey. Them muffins are there. And they are uh, and they and they just gonna be there. And we love them, and that's what it is. So it does not um drag too bad on the floor on me. But the coolest part about this is that it has pockets. Y'all know they could have took all my money for this one, but they didn't. They really didn't. And I'll show you. Let me find the brand. It just says TP. Let me know if you guys have ever heard of TP. Um, and this one was $14.96. But I just thought it was so worth it because it had all of my favorites on the checklist. Wide leg, check. Jumpsuit, check. Because you, then you're really buying two pieces for the price of one. So that checked off. And the color, check. But when they said pockets, check, check, girl, take, get this. I said, get this money. And it's just so beautifully made. It's so lightweight. Um, I cannot wait to wear this. I've been, I, I hate saving things for a special occasion. But like I said, my son is graduating. I got family coming in. So it's going to be a really fun weekend out with my mom and my sister and my niece. Shout out to my family because they watch too. And I love them so much. I love them. This is why I'm so family oriented. I love my family. Um, but we all going to be out. And honey, when I tell you, Y'all going to see this in the vlog. So go ahead and get ready. Get set. Because I'm going with it. Mm -hmm, I am. But I really hope you guys like this one. Let me know in the comment section if this is your favorite like it is mine. I am going to, like I said, style it up with um, the jacket and without so you can see both ways. But I think with this hair, I think that is, if that ain't summer, I don't know what is. Now, I may just throw on those blue jean or denim shoes just to go with the denim jacket for that look just to um or we may throw on some of these cute little set now i don't think i'll do these sandals now i found these sandals these um i showed these in a vlog these are some michael kors sandals that i found and i thought they were really cute but i don't think a flat sandal would go good for me with this particular outfit because it already um gonna drag the floor so i think i want to do this with some form of a wedge but i found i paid three dollars for those uh michael kors sandals and i'm gonna get them in rotation this summer i definitely could throw those on with that um that's probably what i'll do i'll throw those on with those shorts just to bring that that look down if you want to run errands and you don't want to be in um platform shoes everywhere now, I can wear platforms all day, every day, wake up, put them. I have them on now. My slippers are platform. That's how much I love them. But please tell me you love this as much as I do. Now, I will wear undergarments under this one because uh, the jello. That's all I'm going to say. With this type of material, baby, sister girl got to put something to keep them yams together, honey, because they will be all over the grocery store up in here. So I love y'all. I hope you enjoyed. Yes, I said it. Mm -hmm. You got to contain them yams, girl, because if you don't, honey, the shoppers will be, the baskets will be bumping because all of your groceries will be out at the grocery store in these because the material is just so flouncy and gorgeous. It's going to go wherever you go. So if you don't contain them yams, honey, them yams go enrolling all, get them together. Get them, keep yeah, so I love y'all. Now let's get to my favorite part of the video. All right, so you know we haven't done a haul this fast and this quick in a minute, but y'all know we got a lot to do and, and I really want to get this other stuff ready for y'all. But I really hope you enjoyed this really cute, quick, I mean, just summary. I just thought it was summary and I really wanted to start ushering because my ideas for the summer are coming in. But I wanted to go ahead and show you these couple of pieces that I found that I thought were so chic, but summery and cute, but very, very simple. So let me know if you guys like this one. I love you. I love you. I love you. I thank God for you. 
I pray over you guys all the time. If you come here, honey, know you have been prayed for and somebody love you, honey. God love you. And you know, I love you. So don't ever walk out through this world and think that don't nobody love you. Cause that's a lie. Come on back here. And I'm going to tell you hit play. And I'm going to tell you every time you hit play, you go hear me say, God love you. And somebody love you. So there is no reason in this world. You should be walking around with your head down. God is there. Keep your head up. Talk to him. Anything you going through, honey, he can fix it. You telling somebody else ain't going to do no good because they can't do it like he can. So go ahead, sit down, talk to him about it and watch what happened. Good. But you got to put your faith in him and not nobody else in him. Not even in you. You got to go ahead. Pick yourself up, girl. Smile. You look gorgeous. I love you. I thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thick Chick Thrifts, honey, this was a quick one. I hope you enjoy and thank you for giving me grace so I can go ahead and finish with my patio. Now, next week, that is the plan. We are not faltering on that plan unless God say so, but we move by the spirit of the Lord, honey. So if it, if he say it ain't ready, I'm going to let y'all know, but we looking for Saturday, Sunday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick haul. But I just thought it was so quaint for the summer. So let me know in the comment section what pieces were your favorite. But no, you came here because you needed to be loved on, honey. And I got you. So please have a wonderful, spectacular week. Speak life this week. Speak life over your family, your friends, your loved ones, even people you come in contact with, honey. You don't know what you're doing for them when you do that. So speak life over people. You don't have to know them. But speak life into them. You don't know what day they having. You don't know what they going through, honey. So be kind to somebody this week. I love y'all and I will check on y'all throughout the week. But make sure you check in on Thursday for my vlogs on Thursday where you actually get to see me find all of these wonderful pieces that I end up finding. I usually do that on Thursdays and then I come here on Sundays and show you what they look like on. So thank you guys again so much for stopping by Thick Chick Thrifts. I hope you got the love that you needed. i see y'all later. Bye! Uh, 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 that's what I believe. Uh, hit the flow, get the, stop praying. You gotta do something. Come on. Mm -mm.